Hey guys, Summer Bernard, IFBB Bikini Pro. Uh, I just thought I'd quickly touch base with you all. Um, I'm about to fly out tonight over to America. So for those of you who have been following, you know that I have been preparing for my next shows, which are in the USA. Uh, the first one is in Sacramento and then the second one in Iowa. Uh, so comp prep this time around has been like really good. Uh, I'm feeling amazing like I have said in my um, updates prior um, to this one. Um, I have been battling with adrenal fatigue. I got diagnosed last May after my last shows due to not only just competing but just stresses of just general life, work and just trying to juggle so much. Um, I've been keeping in contact with my doctor and seeing her regularly to keep on top of everything. So I do unfortunately still have adrenal fatigue. Um, it's not just something that's going to go away, especially with what I do, but I've just got to learn to manage it. Um, I have to say that I know that it's definitely better than it ever has been because I feel good. Like I feel like I have so much more energy. Um, I just feel more alert and everything like that as well. So I think you've got to do a lot by like play it with how you feel. Um, with this prep as well, it hasn't been uh, as strenuous on my body. Um, I haven't been doing endless amounts of cardio. Um, my calories have gotten low like because they, they have to, but not for as long as what they have in previous comps. So it definitely has been good. Um, mentally, I feel a lot stronger. Um, I follow flexible dieting now, um, and it has been amazing. Um, obviously, like people see if it fits your macros, and they think that people are just eating whatever the hell they want, and it fits, so they'll have it. Uh, look, guys, like there's a full science behind it. Um, after doing it myself and doing millions of other different ways preparing, I can definitely say that I prefer it the most. Um, I have a better relationship with food. I don't binge eat and have your cheat days where you just eat the world. Um, I don't do that now, so it's been really good for my progress as well as, you know, my relationship with food, as I said. Um, yeah, like I do love it that way and I prefer it that way and I myself do it and I've got clients onto it who really love it and enjoy it as well. Um, obviously with getting ready to, um, travel today, I've had to be like pretty organized. I'm a very organized person and actually get pretty anxious before I fly. So I made sure I got most of my stuff done, uh, yesterday. When I always travel, I do take some food with me. Look like I'm going to be away for 28 hours. So I do need to have some food with me. So I've just prepared like chicken and sweet potato. I've put it all into a hundred gram portions to make sure that I have enough. Um, I've got like just um, protein powder that I put into a Ziploc bag so I can have like any shakes and stuff if I want to and oats too. Um, food is totally fine taking in and out of whatever countries as long as it's cooked then it isn't a problem. Um, same with supplements as well guys like if you want to take supplements you can take it there's no problem like I'm taking some in a Ziploc bag there is no problem when you're taking your supplements and stuff like that as well which is really good because it makes it easy obviously you have to be really prepared when especially when you're this close to comp so um, my comp is on Friday I've got my first one in Sacramento in California where we will spend majority of the time and then the second show is in uh, Davenport, Iowa. So really looking forward to it. Um, I'm so excited to step on stage as a bikini pro for the first time. Um, I feel as though like my body's definitely ready for it. Um, I feel uh, I couldn't have done much better myself. And I mean, that's all I can be happy with. Um, obviously, uh, being a professional, you're up against some of the best girls that there is. And um, all I can do is get up there and see how I fare next to them and then it's all about making improvements the next time around but I'm just yeah so happy and I'm so fortunate to get this opportunity to go and travel the world and do what I love doing I mean that's the reason why I decided to compete with the IFBB from the get-go is because I knew that I wanted to go and compete in America so in order to do that I need to get my pro card and um, I'm so very lucky that, you know, I did, did get there and, you know, I think it's an amazing opportunity for so many people out there now that uh, pro cards are being handed out a little bit more often than what they have in the past. You know, like these girls are definitely warranted, um, the girls that do win their pro cards and they do, uh, train hard to get them, but uh, we're just so fortunate now that they're actually giving them out in Australia because beforehand they weren't really. So, 
Yeah, look, I'm I'm really excited, especially going there with um, the people that I love, like my best friend Nina. Her and I are going to be competing on stage together, and like I just, I'm just so happy about that, and I just can't wait to travel with her. And um, my partner's coming over as well, and we get a little bit of a vacation in Cabo um, afterwards for a week. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I have so many plans for when I actually come back to Perth as well. So I'm kind of itching to come back home for that. So I've got so many big things to like announce and like get moving and stuff like that. But um, I just got to enjoy this bit first. I'm always like two steps ahead of myself. But yeah, it's just like the way that I am. So I just wanted to give you guys all an update. And I thank you so, so much for following me and wish me the best of luck. And I'm going to keep you updated the whole time I'm there and do my best to do that. So thank you guys, and um, next time we chat, I'll be in the USA. All right, thank you. Bye. Ah.